Like millions of young Spaniards, Paloma found out the hard way there's no such thing as a safe job. The 28-year-old from Madrid is a qualified translator and once had a contract with a government ministry. Now she's another victim of the economic crisis. Out of work for more than a year, she can't even find lower qualified work. Her unemployment benefits ran out a month ago. You can't ever lose hope. You mustn't. But there are days when you think, my goodness, you just can't see a way out. I'm in limbo. I don't seem to have enough professional experience in my own field or even in other less qualified fields. The unemployment rate in Spain is more than 27%. For young people, the situation is even more drastic. 57% are out of work. As a result, Spaniards are leaving the family home later and later. The average age is now 29. Probablemente, eh, sea una... This is probably a lost generation. I am not sure if we can call it that, but it will mark a turning point in several key economic areas. Beyond the social impact of having so many unemployed young people struggling to work despite the level of training, the consequences go much further. 23-year-old Rocio is still living with her parents. Since finishing her political science degree with flying colours last summer, she has not had a single job. She dreams of finding work as a consultant or political analyst. Most of the job offers I see on the internet are looking for previous experience, and I'm sure there are loads of candidates who have that experience. I don't. With no end in sight to the crisis, many are seriously thinking about emigrating. It's not the same. As much as you might like travelling abroad and seeing other countries, the feeling that you're forced to because you have no other choice is the hardest thing, I think. In a sign of the growing exodus, Madrid and Berlin have signed an agreement to help young Spaniards find jobs in Germany. And last year, nearly 30,000 Spaniards left seeking work in Europe's biggest economy.